Hello, seventh standard, CBC children. Have a good day. Have a nice day. Welcome back to this video session where we are going to do video number ten, chapter ten, respiration in organisms. Today's lesson we are continuing. Right? This is respiration in organisms, part two, video number ten. Okay. Now yesterday we have done definition for respiration as what is respiration as uh, uh, breathing respiration under that we have learnt it as uh, another external respiration external portion internal respiration cellular respiration okay now this respiration it is as external respiration as taking in oxygen giving out carbon dioxide right now this oxygen and carbon dioxide oxygen taken in from the atmosphere and giving out of the body to the atmosphere that we external respiration but as internal respiration the oxygen taken in has to be exchanged or sent to the lungs which is alveoli where it has to get exchanged from carbon dioxide present in okay so that is internal respiration and cellular respiration is the breakdown of glucose into usable energy what does it mean the food that we have eaten that we are eating has to be made into usable form that is cellular respiration i hope you recollect all this huh? so this is respiration and we say it is intracellular respiration okay and uh, this uh, uh, what is it the breathing is taking in oxygen is called inhalation or inspiration and uh, uh, giving out carbon dioxide is exhalation or expiration okay and that is carried out by different uh, our animals having different way of breathing what are we have seen different ways of breathing in amoeba it is through body surface simple diffusion frog and network it is cutaneous respiration with the moist skin frog and the <coughs> the bird skin is having cutaneous glands where it can respire taking in oxygen moisture will be that okay and then insects breathe through trachea which is opening outside the uh, body to a structure called spiracles near the hmm? and then fish breathe through gills and all other higher animals they breathe with the help of lungs and that respiration through lungs is called pulmonary respiration respiration through lungs it is called pulmonary respiration okay now this today we are going to do structure of human respiratory system and mechanism of breathing i hope you are listening huh? now this respiration we follow the equation c6 h12 o6 plus 6 o2 will give 6 co2 plus Six water plus two thousand nine kilo joules of energy. This is the equation for respiration. What is it? Six C six H twelve O six. Another the glucose, right? And then in it takes oxygen. That is in presence of oxygen, it is getting. <coughs> reacted to form 
hmm. carbon dioxide plus oxygen water plus energy chale the chennaiya taking in oxygen is giving out carbon dioxide okay and for this process the uh, organ taking part in respiration is lungs okay so this is structure of lungs when we have do we call it a pulmonary respiration taking place through lungs okay now this structure of lungs it is covered by an outer covering called pleura double layer outer covering called pleura and in between the two pleural membrane pleural fluid is present which is protecting from shocks so otherwise we say that it protects it protects the lungs from shock i hope you understand hmm? so pleura is the outer covering of the human lungs are you clear hmm? and then we have diaphragm this is diaphragm we have diaphragm spelling patko diaphragm which is a sheet of membrane which is actually separating the chest and the abdomen the thoracic part chula last year nam and body movements we have studied that's human skeletal system we have studied yeah under that we have learned about rib cage rib cage within the rib cage the internal organs heart and lungs are present i hope you remember that huh? so that rib cage is getting separated from the abdomen by a sheet of membrane that is diaphragm right so this diaphragm is sorry these lungs are resting on the diaphragm i hope you understand hmm? now the space between the two lungs it is called mediastinum the space between the two lungs it is known as mediastinum where the heart is located the space between the two lungs it is known as mediastinum where the heart is located i am okay listening hmm? so i say human lungs it is present within the chest cavity or thoracic cavity or within the rib cage chale okay? and it is covered by two a uh, double layer membrane called pleura and this two lungs a pair of lungs is resting on a basement membrane that is called diaphragm which is separating the rib cage or thoracic cage or chest region or thoracic region from the abdomen i hope you are listening hmm? then the space between the two lungs is called mediastinum where heart is located i hope you understand hmm? so now the structure of lungs <coughs> what do we say starting from the nasal cavity we say the path of nasal passage otherwise we say it is external nasal the path is nasal cavity external nasal as nasal cavity and then it is pharynx it is pharynx pharynx trachea pharynx trachea and then it is bronchi then it is bronchi entering into lungs bronchioles entering into lungs bronchioles that enter forming alveoli okay that enter 
entering into alveoli. Alveoli that is forming capillaries. That is forming capillaries. I hope you could understand this. Eh? So we say this is the part of the air passage. And then this is the part of air passage as nasal cavity. This is external nasal within that internal nasal. Okay. And that continued as the mucular canal. That is continued as nasal cavity. And this nasal cavity is lined by ciliated epithelium. The lining layer of membrane it is called ciliated epithelium. As ciliated epithelium. Nasal membrane it is called ciliated epithelium. One function. It is <coughs> Ciliated epithelium. I hope you are understanding. Hmm? And then that nasal cavity entering into pharynx. Digestion kit, the pharynx will receive seven openings in a particular as two external nostril, nasal cavity opening into the pharynx and then Two eardrum opening into pharynx and then larynx opening into pharynx and then buccal cavity opening into pharynx. Yeah. So the, this uh, nasal cavity is opening into the pharynx. Right? And then it is continued as larynx or voice box. The protection is the larynx or voice box. The voice can be created up in the throat line. That is larynx or voice box. I hope you understand. Hmm? Now this larynx further continued as flexible cartilaginous. This C shape is you know, the C marifo. The C is the unit in the race. C shaped cartilaginous rings. What do we know? Again, as the body movements, bones, particularly bones and cartilage. Bones are hollow, thick, and rigid in nature, whereas cartilage, they are very flexible and present in few parts of the body as nasal cavity, this model, no stick. Then pinna of the ear and then the larynx. I hope you understand. Hmm? So this is larynx formed of cartilaginous rings. It is normally about 3 to 4 uh, centimeter inches or metal as trachea. Trachea otherwise called windpipe. Trachea is also known as windpipe. I hope you understand. Huh? Then this trachea is opening into or branching into bronchus. Trachea branching into bronchus. Bronchus singular singular bronchi plural. Okay? So this trachea opening into uh, dividing into two bronchi. Are you clear? Hmm? And this bronchi, they are entering into a pan of lungs. Bronchi entering into a pan of lungs. Okay. Now these lungs are spongy, elastic in nature, and the right lobe it is as right lobe and left lobe. I hope you understand. Hmm? And then these bronchi. When it is entering into the lungs, it is further branching into bronchioles. This is bronchioles. Okay. Now the one plane over again, in order internal structure as bronchioles. Right? And these bronchioles further ending in fine air bubble like structure 
that is called <coughs> alveoli. Yeah, bubble-like structure that is called alveoli. It is said about 300 million of alveoli are present in human lungs. About 300 million of uh, alveoli are present in human lungs. I hope you follow this. Yeah? So this is for the structure of uh, human lungs. But is alveoli further branching into fine capillaries as arteries and venules. Blood vessels, it is as artery, vein and capillaries. Right? Now these capillaries which is having pure blood or oxygenated blood, they are called arterioles. They are known as arterioles. These capillaries, they are called arterioles and the veins are known as venules. A network of blood capillaries as arterioles and venules. Another another the blue and red are Arterioles will end with the oxygenated blood or pure blood, whereas the venules will collect impure blood or deoxygenated blood. So when we say exchange of gases, it is between the arterioles and the venules. I hope you follow. Huh? So this is the nasal, sorry, respiratory passage taking place during inspiration. Respiratory passage taking place during inspiration. So yeah, we say nasal cavity, pharynx, trachea, bronchi, lungs, bronchioles, alveoli, capillaries. These capillaries are arterioles and venules. Are you clear? Yeah. So now this is for structure of human lungs. Okay. Now see this diagram. Structure of human lungs. See this line. I hope you understand. Yeah? Structure of human lungs. The monitor leg now could be in the Are you clear? Right. So now we say this. One minute. Human inhales. Human inhale. Ex inhale and exhale air yeah, with the help of their lungs. Very helpful. I repeat, humans inhale and exhale air yeah, with the help of their lungs. Right? Now the lungs are two sac like structures that lie on the chest cavity, which is also known as thoracic cavity, which is the ribcage. Right? The lungs are protected by ribcage. Last year we have studied here. There are 12 pairs of ribs as 1 to 7 pair. It is true ribs. 8 and 9th pair false ribs. 8, 9 and 10 it is false, uh, false ribs. Where it is not directly attached to the sternum. And 11th and 12th pairs of ribcage they are called floating ribs because they are not attached to the chest bone. Recollect this. Right? Then air is inhaled through nasals. The inhaled air enters nasal cavity. The nasal cavity is lined with mucus and tiny pads. The nasal cavity is lined with mucus and tiny pads. The nasal cavity is lined with mucus and tiny pads. The other channel is ciliated epithelium. Right? The traveler dust particle present in the inhaled air so that clean air will enter the body, will enter the lungs, will reach the lungs. Okay? That is why we breathe, we should breathe through the 
nose and not through the mouth. So we should breathe through the nose and not through the mouth. I hope you understand. Huh? Then see here this uh, lung side. Now the diagram clear okay? This is the other side. Nasal cavity, trachea or windpipe, alveolus, bronchi, lungs and diaphragm. That is the other side. I hope you follow this. Huh? So this is the uh, initial stage and then what do you show? And then in our textbook it is said about the structure of lungs. In our textbook we see I just refer to three books so that you can understand still better. Yeah. Now we have an activity where we need to follow it up. Yeah. So that way we just understand. See here as seven minutes. How do we breathe on the natural children? Structure of lungs. Human respiratory system. This is given in our book, page 112. Are you clear? Huh? So, this is structure of lungs. Then we say, now this is the path of. Uh, inhalation, otherwise we say air enters in this passage as nasal cavity, pharynx, trachea, bronchi, lungs, bronchioles, alveoli, and capillaries. Okay. Now we say nasal cavity, nasal cavity, pharynx, then larynx, this is trachea, bronchus, bronchioles. Bronchi only entering into lungs, then bronchioles, these are alveoli, then supplied with capillaries, arterioles and venules. I hope you understand. Hmm? So, this is the human structure of lungs. Right? Now, the exhale here, otherwise, expiration formula that is done through reverse of. In the capillaries of the venules, we will collect impure blood, then going to alveoli, bronchiole, the reverse lung. Lungs, bronchi, trachea, pharynx, nasal cavity, breathe out. That is external passage. I hope you understand. Huh? So, I will just continue. So, this uh, inspiration. We call it as uh, passage of air through the, repeat, nasal cavity, pharynx, trachea, bronchi, lungs, bronchioles, alveoli, capillaries. Chariya? Now we say mechanism of breathing. We talk about that. Now we let's say mechanism of breathing. Chariya? Now this mechanism, mechanism of breathing, the, for breathing we need, sorry, the muscles taking part in the mechanism of breathing, it is said that for inspiration, external Intercostal muscle, external intercostal muscles, diaphragm, external intercostal muscle, diaphragm, and thoracic cavity. Serena, clear board, and thoracic cavity. So the Events that are taking place for inspiration, it is external intercostal muscle, diaphragm, and thoracic cavity. 
what do you understand we say inspiration is taking in oxygen go through pana go through pana go through pana now this internal sorry intercostal muscle we have learned the rib cage last year the yeah? body movements the yeah? skeletal system and that rib cage it is with the external sorry it is covered by or with the muscles as external intercostal and internal intercostal muscles right so during the mechanism of breathing inhalation this external intercostal muscle will take part i hope you understand hmm? so this external intercostal muscle enna solradhu bothrupanna can you recollect something hmm? when we take in oxygen when we take in oxygen or breathing oxygen ये पहले अभी चल रहा हूँ लेकिन हम लोग यहाँ में हम लोग नहीं पढ़ो हम चंजी कर रहे हैं अनाल वाले का बेड तो लिया नाल वाला मुच्छे वाला मॉल लिया साधारण में अंदर हम मुच्छे वाला आदमी ना हम नोटिस पढ़ने मॉल ऐसे ना तो हम अभी मुच्छे वाला मॉल दे व्हेन वी टेक इन ऑक्सीजन दे डाइ फ्रॉम the diaphragm contracts and moves down i repeat during inhalation the diaphragm contracts and <coughs> moves down right now the muscles attached to the ribs that is external intercostal muscle also contract and pull the ribs outward and pull the ribs outward and as well the we see <coughs> diaphragm is moving down appo namm und rib cage ukkle adu contract pannadhu rib cage ni paranga irukku apdi pannumbodhu diaphragm keela varum the chest cavity vandu it, it is contracting and then it become moves down i hope you follow this huh? that is also done so it can it become a vertical in position right so now as we do it this contraction the air from outside is pushing the oxygen inside because the air pressure within the thoracic cavity is low in nature than the outside so it pushes the oxygen in i hope you understand huh? so during inhalation during breathing inhalation or inspiration when oxygen is entering in the diaphragm moves down the thoracic cavity contract and become expand and become vertical in position chare then as low pressure is inside the thoracic cavity oxygen is pushing inside the thoracic cavity so this is the act of inhalation this is the act of inhalation chariya now par for nisha ni par this is during inhalation right in our the just beneath the lungs thin sheet of muscle diaphragm contracts and moves down then muscles attach to the ribs contract and pull the ribs outward apo so, vertical in position as a result the size of the chest cavity increases and lungs get expanded okay so the oxygen rich air is inhaled into the lungs at this stage and during exhalation diaphragm relaxes and moves up to its original position and muscles of the ribs relax and ribs move inwards now during exhalation the internal intercostal muscle will contract 
Chariya. And as a result, the size of the chest cavity decreases and lungs contract and oxygen rich. Sorry, carbon dioxide rich air will be sent out. That is for expiration. I hope you follow this. Hmm? So, in your body, yeah, inhale as during inhalation, diaphragm moves down. Have a clear up, diaphragm moves down. Say, yeah, rule up for the so diaphragm moves down. The rib cage and the expand are the so volume of thoracic cavity increases at the same time. Air pressure inside the thoracic cavity is lower than outside. So, air is pushed in with the oxygen. I hope you understand. Hmm? Whereas, ex exhalation, now when we breathe out, diaphragm relaxes and regain its original shape. And then ribcage gets smaller and muscles get relaxed. So, if the carbon dioxide on the here, just here, it pushes out. I hope you understand. So, that is inhalation and exhalation. Are you clear? So, we will go through the mechanism of breathing. And the more step in, go through the mechanism of breathing. External intercostal muscle present in between the ribs and diaphragm. External intercostal muscles present between the ribs and the diaphragm. Sure. Then during quiet respiration, normal respiration, contraction of external intercostal muscle causes the ribs to move anteriorly and outwardly. Malayo? Right? This movement enlarges the cavity of the thoracic cavity by increasing it side to side. By increasing side to side. I hope you follow this. Hmm? The contraction of radial muscles of the diaphragm leads to flattening of inelastic doom shape central part of the diaphragm okay. and as a result of these muscular movements the volume of the thoracic cavity is increased so it causes air pressure within the lungs to fall below the atmospheric air pressure so the air entering 
from outside this passes into through the ductal cell and reaching the lungs i hope you understand huh? then during expiration diaphragm relaxes and it is very simple the diaphragm relaxes and raise rises its uh, assume the original dome shape okay and the ribs take the original position as a result of contraction of internal intercostal muscles i hope you understand this hmm? so this is for mechanism of breathing okay idu pande actually or experiment irukku ye paaru idu vandha nama book diagram diagram moves down inhalation ribs vandu expand aagudhu chere air ulle podu okay adhe mari exhalation la air vandu sorry diaphragm regains its original position rip moves back to its regain its position i hope you follow this hmm? so this is mechanism of breathing okay then we can have this experiment idu only actually ipo nam lockdown nalla kadatha irukla maybe next week therndana nam experiment panni kattren seriya now here you take a bottle arande adile cut panidu bottle konja konja the bottle here so in the bottle adil cut panna panittu or rubber band nalla sorry balloon vandu adu paadi ki pichu in nadula nalla or sheet mari cut panittu potti balloon okay na indha moodi eduthu indha moodi illa idila or oota podu nadula oota potu or straw podu நம்ம த இளநீ கூல் ட்ரிங்க்ஸ்லாம் கொடுக்கும்ல அந்த ஸ்ட்ரா போட்டு அதை வந்து அந்த ஸ்ட்ரால வந்து இப்படி பை ஷேப் இந்த புக்கில் இருக்குல்ல இந்த மாதிரி ஒய் ஷேப்பில் ரெண்டு ஸ்ட்ரா கட்டிக்கும் இதில் ரெண்டு ஸ்ட்ரா கட்டிக்கும் அந்த ரெண்டு இதுலேயும் யூ அட்டாச் பலூன் ஐ ஹோப் ஃபாலோ ஒரு பாட்டில் எடு அடையில் கட் பண்ண ரப்பர் ஷீட்டு பலூனை வந்து நல்லா டைட்டாக கட்டி விடு அண்ட் தென் நடுவில் ஒரு ஓட்டை போட்டு ஸ்டா போட்டு அதை ரெண்டாக்கு சரியா இந்த ரெண்டு இதில் பலூன் ரைட் நான் வேணும் இன்ஹேல் ஏர் இந்த பலூன் வில் இன்ஃப்ளேட் இன்ஃப்ளேட்னால் அப்படி விரிஞ்சுக்கும் ஏர் என்டர்ஸ் த பலூன் அப்போ வந்து இந்த டயக்ரம் வந்து கீழே வந்துருக்கும் சரியா வேறஸ் வென் வி எக்ஸ்ஹேல் ஏர் பலூன் வில் ரீகெயின் இட்ஸ் பொசிஷன் The diaphragm will be made up. So this is diaphragm. In the middle of the lungs. In the middle of the lungs. The bottle will be the thoracic therapy. I hope you follow this. Eh? So that is for this uh, experiment. Are you clear? Eh? So this is mechanism of breathing. So in this video session, video number 10, we have learned that structure of human respiratory system and mechanism of breathing okay we will continue the lesson in the next video session have a good day have a nice day thank you